against John Holloman, who, like the rest of us, is watching the shuttle break through the atmosphere at this time, John. This is an amazing thing. NASA probably has some fabulous new uh, technology TV cameras that can show you the space shuttle from pretty, pretty far away. Let me show you the live picture that we're getting from NASA right now. It shows the shuttle Endeavour. It's just made its final turn to come down for a landing at Edwards Air Force Base. The shuttle entered the Earth's atmosphere a few minutes ago, and it's red hot on the bottom right now. The insulating tiles are cooling, though, as the spaceship gets close to the runway at Edwards Air Force Base in California. You remember, yesterday's scheduled landing in Florida was canceled because of thick clouds down at the Kennedy Space Center landing strip. The shuttle so far has traveled 4.7 million miles since it took off 11 days ago. It has circled the Earth about 180 times. The one-woman, five-man crew has snapped more than 14,000 still photographs of the Earth and has recorded hundreds of hours of computer tape filled with radar images. I'll uh, stop talking from time to time to listen to the crew members talk to uh, NASA controllers on the ground, but they're right on the glide slope that they're supposed to be for their landing. Over the next 12 months, those radar pictures and images will be released to the rest of us, and space agency scientists say they'll have a much clearer picture of planet Earth after this mission is over. After it touches down in California in just a few seconds from right now, the Endeavour will be loaded aboard a 747 airplane and it will be flown cross-country to the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. During the last couple of seconds of the Endeavour flight, we'll just listen and hear what happens as it touches down in the California desert at Edwards Air Force Base. for the nose wheel to touch down. There comes the drag chute to slow endeavor. Looks like it's rolling to a stop. Endeavor has no engines like a normal airplane, so it's the sound you're hearing there is just the wind whipping over the, the uh, wings and through the parachute. Getting the space shuttle back to Florida will cost us taxpayers about a million dollars. It's going to Florida to be refurbished, but the payload bay behind where the uh, driver and the crew live will stay about the way it is now. The space radar will fly again on the same shuttle in August. That will give scientists a look at the planet in summer, as well as the look that they've just completed of the springtime world. Now that Endeavour is down, the launch team will take a little time off. The next shuttle flight won't come until July. Stop. Roger, we'll stop, Endeavour. Sid, your radar laboratory has provided an unprecedented view of our planet, and you and your crew have been a joy to work with. Welcome home. Thanks. And uh, we've enjoyed working with all you folks at MCC. It's uh, been great. And uh, for all the payload people, uh, we appreciated working with them, and all the years of hard work has paid off. That was Sid Gutierrez, the Endeavour commander. Endeavor, thanks for those words. There are no post-landing deltas. You gotta go to start on page 5-3 in the entry checklist. What that means is the crew can take off their um, heavy flight and landing suits and get ready to step outside the shuttle. The next shuttle, by the way, won't fly until July when Columbia will keep NASA's Endeavor International back. Microgravity Laboratory in space for the Endeavor second time. Home after that two-week mission will give medical and chemical scientists some new tools in medicine and industry. Then, as we said, it's Endeavor again in August. A September launch will include a spacewalk by an astronaut testing a new backpack for flying around without being attached to the shuttle. And in late October, the Atlantis shuttle, which has been in the repair shop for months, will rejoin NASA's fleet for a science mission to examine the Earth's atmosphere. NASA hopes to fly eight shuttle missions this year. Again, the next scheduled shuttle launch is July 8th, as Columbia spends two weeks on medical and chemical research. So this mission of the Space Shuttle Endeavour delayed or other increased by one day is now at an end. The astronauts will be getting some medical checkups and getting back to work. John Holloman, CNN reporting.